the Wild Hunt was moving as swiftly as was possible through the warped landscape of Midland. The fetid Garden of Nurgle was starting to bleed through into reality, due to the rampant corruption and virulent plagues that were ripping through the countryside. Creeping tendrils writhed in all directions, growing from corpulent masses of flesh and rot. A thick, heavy stench of decay clogged the very air, choking out weaker forms of life to melt back into the pools of unknown sludge now dotting the landscape. Heard for miles even outside the corruption, horrible, unnatural sounds of the beasts that were brought through with the garden, as well as those corrupted afterwards, and the perpetual low droning buzz that seemed to worm into one's very skull, warning all of the fate worse than death that awaited any who were caught by the giant winged drones of Nurgle. The Glade Lords of Lorelorn were right to call on and join Orion. They had been poorly led by Ellen Delling, who had been absent from many of the recent forest gatherings, more concerned with conquering new territories and growing his wealth. His folly had already led to an incursion of savage Northmen, the death of the Woodseer Alu, his two captains, and the loss of Mittenstag. Even Elendeling's own force had been surrounded by Festus the Leechlord and Hergig. Isha saved their souls if they were unable to prove capable of repelling the hordes of Nurgle. Athelorn was secure for now, this journey to Lorelorn Forest had shown Orion just how far the other kingdoms of the Old World had fallen. The warlike folk of Midland, led by Boris Toddbringer, were the first Orion deemed worthy of utilizing. While they were struggling currently, he knew fostering an alliance with the Cult of Ulrich would give the forest a cushion of protection, an early warning system, and if they ever raised a hand against Athelorn, Midland would cease to exist. At current, the God King's ire was focused solely on the followers of the Leech Lord. Nothing else mattered to him but their utter annihilation, his precious forests corrupted and people slaughtered. He hoped they would reach Ellen Delling in time. And welcome on in everyone to part 5 of our Orion campaign. We are here with Glade Lord Ellen Delling to do what we can to defend against the worst that Festus can uh, muster to face us. He is tired of staying in the Brass Keep, but he's come on out to spread plague and claim some souls for his uh, Dark Lord of Nurgle. Uh, we'll do what we can to defend here. We're going to try to pull all of our troops back into the trees. This is going to be a very dire fight, as we have mostly just spearmen. The best thing about our spearmen is they all are going to be armor-piercing, so the very heavily armored lads that the enemies are fielding will be taking a lot more damage than normal, just simply because our spearmen are uh, also armor-piercing. Only problem being they are just spearmen, so we're going to have to get a lot of damage from our archers here and hope they are able to do uh, good damage. We're able to bring down kind of the most important targets there being the giant Festus himself, of course, because he's going to have all sorts of nasty spells to tear our poor Eternal Guard to pieces and actually keep his boys topped off. Let's get this battle started. Several are going to start wounded, but that doesn't really matter because he can heal them up pretty quickly. Uh, and they are going to just pull back and do some healing. Very, very fair enough. We'll bring Ellen Delling forward. Use a bit of speed there. We're going to bring everyone else because he's just going to wait on his reinforcements. Which is a fair strategy. We are going to pull into the trees here. And then wait for them to come to us. Who he is firing and has a good bit of missile resistance, so maybe we can instead go after Bessus himself. He's just healing up as many units as he can, so let's go ahead and blast away at some of these Marauders of Nurgle. Front there. Ready to hunt. Are you gonna do the thing? No, you're not. There it is. Arrows of Kurnos go away. Blast a few away. Blast away a few of the uh, Marauders there. You need to fire on Festus. The extra damage we can get on the boy, the better. Convince the rest of them to come on forward, that'd be great. I'm going to keep blasting away at Festus. He's going to keep healing up his uh, Marauders. Fleshy Abundance upgraded. Oh, he can stay topped off very easily. Ah, okay. He's going to be dangerous. Wasting ammunition almost seems... That's a big old waste. All right, Ellen Delling, come on around here and start firing on these Chaos Warhounds then. If we can scare them off so we don't have to deal with hounds, that'd be great. He's just going to continue to heal. 
we'll have to deal with Festus later on here. Blast away a few of these doggos. Add some model dead. They can't regenerate models, so as long as we can take down a few of them, that'd be great. It really doesn't like that at all. All right, Adele and Delling, it's probably time for you to pull on back. Oh, they, they are reinforcing now, so here they come. They are prepared now to charge forward. We use our extra speed. We can kind of stay in range and keep firing shots at them. Keep kind of plinking away at these Forsaken. They're some more elite infantry. It's going to be a pretty rough fight. Especially now that I've seen how uh, capable Festus is of, for his healing. Ripping shots where you can. The Forsaken don't have any kind of uh, shielding besides their armor, so you can do good damage to them. Last way at this group of Forsaken here. Sending some of his Marauders and the Exalted Hero up into the forest. Make sure our Way Watchers are ready. We'll pull these guys up to stop anyone from going around in the back. He's got a nice wall of uh, spears there. Start firing on these for a second. We've dropped a few in the other line. Hopefully our archers should have no trouble firing through here. I have taken off the uh, hide foil uh, foliage so we can actually see. But maybe that's only while you're hitting space bar. So we can see what our troops are up to. Hounds started to move up, but they realized that that's a lot of spears and it's pretty dangerous for them to move on in. Looks like Festus is staying in with the line. If we can move Ellen Delling, can you, how are you in melee? I'd kind of like to get him around and take down the other Lord before he gets too close. Let's have you guys deal with, wow, you're doing really good damage to those Forsaken. Keep firing on them. Go ahead and charge on over and break these Warhounds. Two, three, just keep just pick targets wherever you'd like there. You will have the Waystalkers keep firing there. We'll pull them on through the line. Get a proper barrier there. You guys go after the Forsaken. Oh, what? How did, hang on now. How did this Exalted Hero get in? He just wove his way through the line? Okay. Nonsense, I say, but sure. Such is the way. Doing battle in the forest is going to be a little bit more difficult than we initially had intended. Keep blasting them away. Pull you guys on forward. We'll go ahead and bring Ellen Delling away from that nonsense there. We'll bring these other spearmen. Rude kind of flank. Brings the blade men in as well. So we need to try to keep these guys pulled back. The enemy lord there is going to be pretty dangerous against our uh, guard there, but that's all we can really have uh, fighting him. Lendelli needs to pull on away. Having a hard time doing so. Come on, lads. Everyone loose arrows on Festus, anyone who can. Everyone else in our army has a little bit too much in terms of uh, missile resist, although he's just healing. This is a spooky battle, this is. We're having a hard time getting through the line, though, thankfully. The Hound's kind of crashing against the Spearman ineffectively there. Fighting them back pretty well, same thing. Ooh, that's a nasty bit of magic there. Now the has broken free. Let's go ahead and have him take shots of that Exalted Hero. While all of our other archers kind of layer things down on Festus, although they are not doing much damage. Hold back just a little bit here. You guys have taken a bit of damage from being too close to Festus. Pull on away. Magic is just a nightmare. Now ah, we're starting to break. A bit overwhelmed there. Bring you all in to try to break down these great these warriors of Nurgle here. We've got them completely surrounded, but there's too many units, I think. Ruel and Ellen Delling, let's go ahead and get him away from this nonsense. Zoom, zoom away there, bud. We need to bring some of these other, other horde of unit on through. Before we lose these spearmen here, because all of their heroes kind of broke through that bit of the line. Festus is far too tanky. Let's try to bring down the Summoners of Rage. 
I think unfortunately we just don't have what it takes. Pull them around the line there. Lindellian, try to shoot through the line if you can. Now we're about to lose a whole bunch of archers. Now he has to weave through his own troops. That's not good. Alright, he was able to weave through so he can keep kind of firing shots into the back of the enemy line there. If we fall here, we'll do as much damage to the enemy as we can. Ever ready. Ah, oh, those hounds are going to come back, so let's bring these spearmen forward. So yeah, those hounds are going to hurt our way stalkers quite badly. You guys go ahead and charge in on them. Just go ahead and blast some shots of Kurnos into the back of these marauders here. Alright, we're about to start losing all of our different lines of archers. Get the giants in on the back line. Try to pull you through. All right, Wave Watchers, if we can bring you up so you can fire in on the side, that'd be fantastic. Will it actually work out like that? We'll find out. All right, Ellen Delling, try to pull some of them away there. Archers, turn and start firing on uh, the giant that's chasing our others. These archers are likely to fall pretty soon. Dual axes in there as well. See if we can't break this group here. Zoom on in. How are my war dancers doing? Plenty of kills. If we give them more melee defense, they lose attack, but I think we'll go for it. Keep them defending a bit longer. You've crashed in. You punch a bit deep in the enemy lines. They don't like that so much. All right, that group is completely shattered. Let's pull on through. You guys move to surround and destroy. Try to get Ellen Delling out. Who, yeah, he punched far too deep at enemy lines, and now he's likely to be slain. And the exalted heroes come on around as well. Let's go ahead and try to pull him into the spearmen. Now Ellen Delling is going to fall. Yeah, the enemy, uh, or at least our, our heroes, notice the same thing with Dulos. They are they struggle a lot harder at trying to pull away from enemy battle lines. Lord of the deep wood. Now, with haste. Where can we really I'm lend away. his uh, his punching power? It doesn't look like anywhere at the moment. We are falling across the board here. Now, oh, Delin Delling is gone. Looks like the white flag is going up across the board there, boys. You tried your best. Close to feet. All right. It'll give us a close defeat, but zero kills on all of our Glade Guard did a very good job of blocking us with Festus. I expected them to get a bit more damage, and he was uh, quite the healing a tank there. All layering their fire down on the Summoners of Rage likely would have finished them. If I would have, would have redone the battle, I would have done that. No armor piercing means we weren't going to get much damage on the Warriors unless we got layered fire, so doing the battle differently, hindsight being what it is. All right, Norska has attacked Orion. Torvig, what are you thinking? He bites shields. Well, you should probably not do that. Look how much taller Orion is than you. And kick. We lost 34. That's an embarrassment. We should have lost zero. These guys we will also definitely go ahead and abduct. Welcome to the forest. Speaking of, we don't have any hounds with Orion. Warhounds? Why not? Are they in the game? Why? Wait, wait, hang on now. I just re Why aren't there normal warhounds in the game? Perhaps a treaty, says Nordland. Yeah, you guys are war uh, kind of warlike. Oh, it's kind of same as we are, so uh, yeah, not aggression it is. Your as long as you stay out of the forest. Of blood in their See, you do have a uh, wood mill there. You better be paying for every log you claim. He wants a non-aggression as well. Looks like we are going to be doing our best to protect the fledgling empire. I will at least agree to the non-aggression. The wild hunt begins. All office holders are now receiving additional effects. Lovely. I believe it doubles all the bonuses and this drops the cooldown for the deep roots teleportation. Even though it doesn't look like it does. That'll probably do so next turn. Ooh, a new quest battle. Lovely. Winter grows ever closer and with it, the time of Orion's return to the Oak of Ages and to renewal. 
Yet there are forces of darkness that would see his path curtailed all too quickly. Having infiltrated the Oak of Ages, Anath Rema, goddess of the savage hunt, plans to supplant Ariel and ascend to an, uh, to an Athel Lauren shaped by her malicious desires. Uh, one of the other gods uh, in the Pantheon? Cool. Uh, Athel Lauren is in uproar. Fear sets in like a deep chill, which shatters into panic when the rebel force reveals itself, advancing on the Oak of Ages. Orion's final act must be to destroy this force and put Anath Rema's destructive desires to the sword once and for all. This will give us this uh, Spear of Kurnos there, giving us an increase to post-battle loot of 10%, a drop to recruitment cost, magical attacks, more missile strength, and then the Spear of Kurnos activated magical ability there, uh, which can cause damage to friendly combatants, fair enough. It also will blind them, so kind of throw that at people from a distance and don't throw it at friendlies, because blind is such a really, really incredibly uh, powerful debuff. Enemy forces are, yeah, they're more Wood Elves. Man, with Orion's campaign, you do a lot more fighting Wood Elves than anyone else. Mark Wyland's mission was successful. Lovely. We've gained a Wand of Jet and a War Dancer Drummer. Two War Dancer Drummers. Alu received a plague. He got slain. He he doesn't just have a plague. Don Asadalu and Ellen Delling. Oh, Ellen Delling was fully killed. Rest in peace, Blade Lord Ellen Delling. Midden Stag was raised to the ground. Hergig was raised to the ground. And we've got an ambushing Beastman forced on there at Black Pit. Black Pit. Yeah, I think Ellen Delling's foolish advance into uh, Empire territory was going to be his demise there. Luckily, the Nurglish forces claiming no extra land allows us to kind of finish them off quickly. We will not leave without expunging this corruption here. Hawkeyes of Drakira. Way Watchers. Lovely. Deliana gained a steed. And Gwendolyn has claimed the Sword of Cain. Hopefully corruption does not claim her. Yes, we uh, annihilate Alariel. Alright, Lore Lord. As we upgrade this forest hero, it's much easier to upgrade Lore Lord. That's... That's great to see. So this will increase our diplomatic relations with the Empire and give us more income from all of our buildings faction-wide. So as we finish this up, we can kind of corrupt the Empire. We'll say corrupt the Empire, but influence them to be our new Bretonia for the North. Where they are our shield against the forces of chaos. We can get the Azrai Forge in here already. Down in the South, we would have to wait a bit. Six more turns, and then however many turns for the Azrai Forge, so as sad as it is to say, I'd like to put it in at the Glade, the King's Glade, but we will put the Azrai Forge in up here. That way we can get access to these troops sooner rather than later. And we can go for the Tier 3 on the Forest Lookout. And I think we will keep the Arbiter's Perch in. We're getting the Roots of Gyron for the Spell Singers. Fair enough. This just doesn't let us get the extra Archers, which will make me a bit sad. We'll deal. Okay, Orion. I live to we need to get them. out there to get some revenge on Justice. Without taking too much casualties in uh, attrition there. Let's go ahead and keep Orion's might. We'll go ahead and remove these Glade Guard here. You have served us well, but you are not the Hawkeyes of Drakira, which have a discourage effect on their missiles. They're going to kind of remind me of our uh, Warriors of Artemis when we're playing over on Troy. So we'll grab our Hawkeyes of Drakira, Way Watchers, greet them on in. For an elite archer unit. And now we'll grab ourselves into the world roots there. And fly over towards the Brass Keep as fast as we can. I think Middenheim also does count as a, a, a dark fortress. We may stop and defeat Middenheim first. But if Urkthal here does retreat back into... We would just take attrition if we don't we don't go in the world route. So let's go ahead and uh, act like we're going to after the Brass Keep. Make sure not too many of these armies can reinforce. I'm happy to face down... We can move such a long ways. I'm happy to face down two, but not three. Let's go right to here. Oh, hello, Karn. Oh, we're about to be faced down by the entirety of the army. I am very excited. Halfway. We'll see how this goes. Okay, Orion, we need to make sure our uh, front line is a bit more staunch. Yes, sir, we've got two skill points. Let's go ahead and use those to make...
Friends of the Oak, do we get more just, just hit points? Hit points are great, but I think we need to make sure our front line is chonky there. This gives Spears and the Wardens extra melee attack and strength. Ancient Bark is for Treekin. Swinging Bows is for everyone with actual melee attacks. It's actually a tough call. I think instead of just going for our front line as much as I'd like to, we go for the Striking Branches to increase the ability on our Cavalry. We'll get to some of these others later on when I figure out exactly how we want to specialize his forces. Because this is all of our elite infantry here. These guys are not elite at all, but they're, they are our spear line and kind of our first tier tree kin. Extra speed and charge bonus for all of our glade riders. Let's get to it. You have my blessing. Dodon will give you the endurance of the oak. We'll definitely be needing it. Extra health and then Deliana here can get Arrow of Kurnos and then Fleet or Foe Seeker would be great to kind of keep us uh, topped off on Vigor. But extra reload reduction is probably going to be the way there. Viljan over back at home got several points for her victory, so we'll grab the Ever Reaching Tendrils. We will grab the Inspiring Presence. Okay, for the Spell Singer, we do have to choose Dance of Loek for extra uh, melee defense. The uh, Eye of Kurnos for Missile Damage, or Call of the Woods for, I believe, more charge. Melee attack, okay. Well, let's hold off on that for now, and we'll grab her, her uh, spells. So we'll grab the Awakening of the Wood just because we must, and then Life Bloom, and upgrade Earth Blood as fast as we can up to max there. Next will either be Flesh to so uh, Stone or Shield of Thorns. Melee Reflection, only 15 is not a lot, so we'll likely go for Flesh to Stone. It gives you kind of a chunky 40% physical resistance. Is entirely useless against demons and things, but uh, green skins actually kind of lack more magical attacks, so it would be great when fighting against Grom. Sweet, I am very concerned for Orion's force here, but the good news is Festus' force is pretty pretty injured as is. Demahar is not doing any recruiting. Well, they, are, they are warriors of chaos, are they not? This, this is going to be uh, quite fun next turn here. To Says with the uh, fear, fear in the heart. Now oh, we've got it handled. Glade Lord, It'd be lovely if we could service. teleport on over and stay teleported, but that doesn't seem to be that doesn't seem to be allowed. Uh, Carcassonne, how's your corruptions just increasing from there? Gross. We'll have to deal with it in due time. Hacking Ruglash here would bring in the others, including Massive Recall. Broken Axe Defenders would join in. Nature's servant. Ilgen losing one of the units is not great. What we'll do with her is go into not go into ambush dance. We'll in view of another faction's army. Okay, well how about I go over to say this Wherever patch of grass here. Eighty-five percent chance of success there. Let's go ahead and try the ambush here with Vildjian. Prove yourself worthy. We might catch them uh, unawares. We'll see. Argwilan is doing a very good job, but we need to fight some uh, green skins, otherwise we won't get a chance to actually confederate one of these armies up because the uh, tree can here very well. Girthu. I acquiesce to your request. Love to hear it. Come on over and grab the Trapper's Den for a bit more income. Great finds do give us more than the Trapper's Den does. 360 total. It costs a bit more. We'll go for the Trapper's Den for the extra tradable resources. And then we'll take a look at our diplomacy here. Everyone's very, very irritated with us for what we've done on the other side of the, uh, the lands there. We'll go ahead and sign a non-aggression with Drycha, even though I know she's up to some no good over here. Making sure we are on at least semi-good terms with all the trees. All the people of the forest is a good thing. We will punish her for her crimes in due time if need be. Yep. 
And we can confederate her later on. I do not have the defeat legendary or defeat... I guess confederate defeated lords, recruit defeated lords mod on. So anyone that is wiped out stays wiped out. We are kind of playing a more narrative campaign, so it would make sense that once they get taken out, they would not be able to come on back. So if we take out uh, Festus here, he would just re-emerge with one of the other AI armies almost immediately. So it just kind of makes it so you, you are constantly dealing with the same threats for the entire game. And neither of these two can be reassigned, I don't believe. So we'll, we'll keep them on out for now. We don't really want the extra upkeep. And we're, I'm really not looking forward to ending the turn here. How can I assist you? Let's get through. We'll check how many heroes we have access to at the moment. One more Glade Captain, so we recruit her on in if we can get almost some pretty good stats there. Strong, fleet-footed, or a Weapon Master. 35%, uh, 35 more armor-piercing is not bad. I think we'll grab Donas, though, the fleet-footed. Glade Captain reporting. Third Donas we have access to now. To give her another name. Orion. Now we've got uh, Dodon and Deliana. Dulos was the first one we had. Alright, that'll be the turn. So we went into Orion and uh, see how Festus responds. Okay, so the Broken Axe tribe is coming on over. Looks like our ambush failed, and it is giving us a loss here, a defeat. Grom's Wasp, they heal. Whoa, they heal? I don't remember that. Okay, well, it's Grom the Paunch himself. It's going to be quite a uh, a difficult target to bog down. He's a nasty individual. Was he got on his melee attack there? Come on, game. Be nice. Either way, we will have to come back to this battle in but a moment. The uh, Lady Wizard is giving me a call on her break. I will catch you in a moment. All right, back to it. Viljin versus Grom. Battle begin. Okay, how do we go about wristing victory from defeat here? Uh, we'll start deployment and then kind of see what the enemy terrain... There's lots of breakups over here, so obviously the most dangerous unit here is going to be both Grom and his trolls. Grom himself is unbreakable and has so many... He is packed with so many positive stats. There's a little gabo. I guess he is the, uh, the biggest and greatest gabos, but I always loathe fighting Grom in uh, straight up battle here. So let's try to... And we really need to keep him bog bogged down in the trees. Um, and we can have our Glade Guard here. We'll have three of them up front. We definitely need them staggered so we can have all of them firing. Kind of like to keep them separate from our main body force here. That way if Grom wants to go ahead and separate from the rest of the troops and uh, attack them, he can. We'll have these uh, War Dancers in the center here. The Spear Dancers, I'll put one of them on the flank and one of them behind. We'll probably push these guys up, these ladies up into the, uh, the trees here. Oh, they're off on the other side. Spell Singer to kind of keep things uh, dealt with on the healing front. We'll have these three Glade Guard. I almost think hiding them. And then bringing the Glade Guard out later on and charging them over and kind of firing into the backs is probably the best course of action. So we'll let the, the front line take kind of the brunt of the enemy charge there. We'll likely kind of rotate them a bit more. Well, not on this side here. We want them kind of closer together. These guys will be rotated a bit more. That way we can uh, fire in on them. Planks of the works a little bit easier there. This is going to be a tough fight no matter what, but if we can use the, the front of this hill and stay in the forest, we should have... I don't know if the dancers get any extra bonuses to fighting in trees. Not not this time, not yet. I know we will get some buffs later on that will allow us to. So let's grab the war dancers and the spears. Spears in guard mode. Glade guard all ready to go. Alrighty then. Let's get this battle started. Push the warriors forward there into the trees as much as you can. Keep our archers hidden for as long as we can. Grom is working his way on over. The Wand of Jet allows us to get some... Uh, it increases our cooldowns for a moment, but that's fine. We'll give us a bit more magic. 
of you trying to get the trolls to come on back. We can have the Glade Riders scoot forward a little bit there. Start firing on these trolls here. All right, the, uh, we've got a lot of them hitting one side. That's going to be a bit dangerous. Come on around behind. Let's go ahead and take them off fire at will just for a moment. Other spears, come on over. Let's go ahead and drop down the heels now. We definitely need the overcast on it. Four dancers, come on over. Let's go ahead and bring these guys on through to deal with the archers. What are they firing? Uh, what arrows are those? Like flashbang arrows, almost. Wait a bit longer there. Oh, they got caught. No, no, no. That's one of my main sources of advantage here. Pull her away from Grom. We definitely need that to not happen. Give yourself some more melee defense for the prey there. More of the trolls are crashing on in. Now the archers can kind of start making their presence felt for real. Breeding. I will charge them in. We have to keep in mind the, uh, the halberd ears are there behind. Go ahead and wake in the wood. And there are so many... So many orcs in here. We might have waited a little bit too long to bring our archers forward. All three of you fire on those bloody sons, boys. You deal with the iron claw orcs. Come on forward. Really need the heals. We don't have the uh, time for it yet, though. Come on, Azrai Spears. Hold. Iron claw orcs having a hard time against the warrior women. Of Athelorn. As the tree roots shall be bathed in blood. Bring these guys up on and away. Keep the trolls away from the main fight for kind of as long as we can there. And start blasting some shots in on these iron claw orcs. Keep retreating on away. Go ahead and pull forward. Drop down some heals on all of you here. Four dancers with the spears chase down Grom. Now, actually, we kind of need you to jump on the other group, unfortunately. Bring down those trolls. Everyone here, get involved. No one should be not fighting. No one at all. You guys pull on away. Keep, keep retreating from the trolls. They keep getting caught in interesting, uh, bad positions there. This unit here, just go ahead and trade with those night gobos. And those explosions are not going to work. Go ahead and jump into melee, move them, and uh, finish them off quick. Come on, Glade Guard, you got this. Go ahead and finish off these archers here while we can. Those explosive arrows are real bad. Definitely can't let those fire on anyone important. Come on away. Having a really hard time actually dealing with them, though. Start firing. We're looting, losing the Azrai Spears on the other side there. Let's go ahead and awaken the wood. Trolls are down, so we can start rolling down this line now. And on these Iron Claw works here. We've lost the Spears on the other side, and uh, old boy is healing as much as he can. Keep pulling away. I haven't really been able to loose many arrows, sadly. Trolls have been keeping them really occupied. Keep retreating from the trolls. No reason to get bogged down. We will not go for the Wand of Jet just yet. Keep you fighting against the Bloody Suns, boys. We'll pull back just a bit here. Go for the heals in but a second. We'll go ahead and just blast out some more Awakening. Heals on the two Spearmen that are fighting against Grom. Break formation. Keep launching those arrows on in. Yes, yes. Become Skaven if we must. Deal with this group next. Keep those arrows flying. Go ahead and scoop forward so we can get some shots in on this next group of Iron Claw Orcs here. The Broken Tooth Armor Boys. Nope, let's not go get into my melee with the trolls. We can kind of pull them through. Interesting, they got caught. Well, I guess I probably kept them from uh, actually retreating. Go back into... Uh, you kind of need to be in more melee defense mode. 
all of them here, jump into melee defense mode, and keep fighting. Keep launching those arrows. Huge clump of oaks over here, even if it's not doing much damage, it will chip through, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, it chips through ever so slightly. They are fleeing, that's not great. Good news is, if we need to retreat at any point here, we can pull on away. We've done a good bit of damage to the orcs themselves, so... We can rest easy knowing that we've done a lot of damage here. It is by no means over. Let's see if we can focus down all of the Glade Guard on... I don't remember pulling you guys to charge in. Alright, more trolls have added themselves to the fight. Battles in the trees. Grom is such an unfortunate uh, target to try to bring down. We'll drop down the heels on some of these remaining uh, Azurai War Dancer Spears here. We are starting to get bested here. There's just a little bit too much in terms of uh, what the orcs are wielding. Try to pull you guys on through so everyone else can keep firing on Grom. All the extra damage we can get, I kind of I can't really throw her into a battle with him, but getting him bogged down in individual units is real dangerous too. Keep these Blade Guard firing. In individual units we can break. Let's grab the more intact group of spears and bring them back over here to try to fight with Grom. Because we are getting obliterated. Each second he's able to stay in combat is uh, really bad. Keep punching out the goodies there. Bring these spears to try to duel with the stone trolls. You're not on fire at will? They're not. That's, that's what the problem is. They're not on fire at will mode. Fixed. I was like, what? Why aren't you guys shooting at anyone? I will. There we go. Now we've got him bogged down in Spearmen and As you come on, Archers both. The amount of damage he does is insane. Each and every charge. It's impressive. Now, uh, these Azurai Spears are probably a bit outmatched there by those uh, orcs, unfortunately, the, the stone trolls that are in their way. Come on. You more pokes and Grom's down. With the death of the pounch, we'll get him go flying. We should be able to finish the rest of them now. We've got range advantage, and they should be nice and tired from fighting in the trees this whole time. We will lose a lot for this battle here. Bringing down the paunch is fantastic. We never miss. Azrae, attack. Prove it. Cavalry. Go ahead and start Support. launching some arrows at the trolls. When they flee, that's a pretty huge hit to the uh, overall balance of power there. Leadership has recovered for our war dancers. Definitely let, like, let them get up front. Put you ladies back over to melee defense mode. They're all defending as hard as they can. I don't want to turn them around, otherwise they'll just take too much damage. So we drop down some more heals, and it may be too too much for them. A little too late. All right, pull on away. Let these stone trolls get filled with arrows. We are launching them into the forest there. Okay, Trying to pull back through to your uh, allies, if you can. Stone trolls are... Really chonky. Letting you guys get charged by trolls is uh, the worst. Let's not do that. Doing a good job of wasting our ammunition, too. Now, you guys actually hang out there. We'll go ahead and shoot into their flanks. That'll work out just fine. You've given us a target now. Fools. Oh, they're Night Gavos, too. That's not going to work out for you at all. Hey, 
But we're going to help out with these stone trolls, who are an absolute menace. They've got a lot of health. A lot of resistances, too. You're going to shoot apart your own team. Please don't do that. Once we're out of ammo, we're, we're in bad luck. We'll probably have to pull away. We flee when the quivers are empty. Ow, oh, a rear charge is not good. Let's keep these guys on skirmish mode. Otherwise, we're, I'm going to lose them. And why? Because I've got terrible uh, micro capabilities. Night gobbles are likely to come back, but we'll keep that in uh, keep in mind. They're being chased off. What do my fucking about? Let's keep tearing apart these broken tooth orbit boys. Stand up in the forest so that the way if they come on out, they will get uh, penalties. Your women are tearing them apart. Well done. They will likely lose the battle, but that is a ton of damage. Hold firm. Wake in the wood. Those spearmen or uh, spears are about to go ahead and flee. They're out of ammunition there. Nope, don't run on in. We need you outside of the forest for now. The trolls have come on out to cause us some problems too. Come on. You know you want to run. They absolutely do not. They are ready to fight to the bitter end, these orcs. All right, I see the white flag starting to go up. Perhaps we get them with army losses? I think we might. Uh, start helping out with these stone trolls. Those stone trolls destroyed our glade guard there. Wow. You all just keep running away. Do not... not let them catch you. Look at how fast they blend through your glade guard. That is incredible. Definitely need to switch who's fighting who. So you guys come on over here and fight these broken tooth armored boys. Let's bring the... Uh, you guys stay and fight. Spears, come on out. Let's uh, engage these trolls because they are annihilating our archers there. Low leadership? What low leadership? These are the best trolls in the block. I didn't get engaged with the Broken Tooth boys. They are trying to catch up with the others. We'll go ahead and put you guys into actual melee attack mode. Increase the heals down here. Whoa, that was a bad miscast. Get on away. All right, those trolls are surrounded. That'll break their leadership. And with the trolls fleeing... Keep the damage on them so they don't regenerate too much there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and come on back around and surround these Broken Tooth boys. And now it's just what we can deal with these last group of trolls here. Come on back. Really nice point blank shots. Let's go ahead and uh, set up because they would likely come on back once more. I think one more charge we'll get. These are the bravest orcs there ever were. We need a bit more magic. How much do we have access to? None. Not even the wand will do anything for us now. All right, looks like we might have broken their main body force. Very thankfully. So jump on this unit of stone trolls. Pull you away. Keep them on a chase for now until we need them to get them in battle. Go ahead and surround and destroy. And these trolls are proving to be a big old menace. How much leadership have they got? 31? Doesn't matter. They're staying in as long as they want. Can't get any more heals, though. Alright, lots of them are fleeing. Let's go ahead and bring you over to actually help out just in case. These trolls are a menace. Let's go ahead and pull through the forest. bring these armies down to try to help out with these trolls here. As incredibly, this army of uh, Groms is literally going to fight to the bitter end. The 
dark trees blow. And orcs are known to, to flee the second their lord is killed. These guys are extra tough. Spell ready. Dead odd. Go ahead and charge them down in the woods there, because we can catch them in the woods. They'll at least have some melee penalties. Oh, the riders away. The combination of uh, sundered attacks and armor piercing is always really strong. This victory is going to come at great cost. Do not charge back in on them, and you need to get away from them too. Too many good hits is uh, going to spell the end for you pretty quickly. Just the number we are going to lose to the Stone Trolls is very silly. Go ahead and charge in as well. If we can get them fully surrounded, they should take a lot of nice uh, penalties to their leadership. These ones over here are just going to continue to come back. Let's set up and get ready for them. Meanwhile... It won't hurt. More magic. Jeez. Well done, Grom. All right, these trolls are there. They're not quite wavering yet, but we are. We're starting to lose guys, kind of on the on the dozen. Yeah, they're gonna come on back and just turn around and run. Georgian didn't help us scare these stone trolls off, and there's the win. Scared me there. I'm going to hunt down these trolls and as many of these others as we can catch, and I will catch you all in a moment. All right. A Pyrrhic victory indeed. We only ended up losing two of the units of War Dancers, one of the Spears and one of the Blades. So all in all, not a terrible battle, but man, those stone trolls can put in some work. And they almost lost nothing. Good grief. We will go ahead and abduct those captives and try to flee on back to Athaloran to replenish. You must obey. And Orion has now been attacked as himself by Festus, uh, by Urgothal, and by Karn. So, Festus is leading the charge here with a pretty weakened force. Urgothal will be the main fight for sure. He's bringing in an ROR unit as well as some spawn. And then Karn Ironcast will be joining the fray as well as just a normal spellcaster. His spellcasters will be easy prey for uh, Orion himself. This first battle here against Festus is really going to be the determining factor. How fast we can bring this group down is going to determine how quickly we can, or, or if we can actually pivot and deal with Urgothal. See what the map's going to be looking like. Please be in the wild roots. Excellent. This will make things quite a bit easier for us because we can just keep launching shots over their heads. Take position and uh, rain death. Okay, likely we are going to see Festus trying to wait for his reinforcements to come on in. So we need to deploy a bit aggressively with our Glade Riders, our cavalry, just in case the uh, enemy hounds try anything silly. And our archers even in behind them. Where is the best point to kind of hold up in? It looks like this small little uh, position here is kind of the smallest gap we can set up in. Funnel all these Kurgan forces into one spot. We need to move up. Grab the Eternals, set them up, spread them as wide as we can, and then we'll have the Spearmen taking those flanks. So we'll have. Unfortunately, we don't have we don't have a lot of infantry at the moment. We'll make do. Oh, Ryan, you and your two heroes can be up front here, causing all sorts of extra problems. I'm excited. And actually, that's pretty much good enough to cover the entire base there. Let's put the spears in behind them. We don't want to get them too close because the Nurgle spells will be all sorts of obnoxious there. Wildwood Rangers with the spears. We'll have the trees waiting to help out. Maybe we put them in the, the forest over here. We want them somewhere where they can help out, but if they can help claim that ground faster, that's even better. Warriors already. Our Glade Guard we are going to throw in behind. Lovely. Range units all together here. These Hawkeyes or Drakira are going to be great. Yeah, but we're going to basically put them forward. Allow them to be a huge menace to the enemy as they kind of try to wait for the reinforcements. And use our cavalry to try to keep nonsense from going down as well. Listening. 
That's the plan, at least. This can go very poorly very quickly. You two on skirmish mode, so I don't have to worry about losing you by uh, bad micro. Sometimes skirmish can hurt you, but we have been hurt more often by ourselves. Alrighty then, the battle started. First things first, just kind of scoot these guys up. Take this position here. Grab our archers and scoot them forward. Let's grab you three. Have you all firing on... Maybe instead of Festus, we go after the uh, Summoners of Rage there. Focus fire. Archers move in and just kind of do the same with these hounds. And you guys all throw your arrows at this weak gun group of Forsaken here. Talon of Kurnos indeed. I absolutely promise you don't want any. Our other way stalker can go for these arrows of Kurnos. Let's go ahead and blast those at the hounds here. Any units we can scare off the map immediately. As a unit we don't have to fight later on. They're being healed, but there's only four of them left. One more blanket of arrows should finish that group off. And actually, let's, there's only three of them, so let's switch to these uh, these Forsaken here. Yeah, those hounds are gone. Led right off the map. They are really keen on just waiting for the reinforcements to arrive, which is kind of funny. We've got 40 seconds on both of those, and everyone else is all set up. Bring the Wild Riders forward, just in case of any kind of nonsense. Alright, let's switch targets. Marauders of Nurgle it is. This is perfect. Yeah, just stand there and keep getting shot. That's excellent. Exactly what you should be doing. Nurgle Release. is so proud of you. Them. There we go, there we go. Make sure you are picking shots on the Summoners of Rage there. No one else. Blanketing those arrows down. Looks like the first set of reinforcements have arrived, so likely his forces will start pushing their way up now. Bring the cavalry back. Here, here they come. Here they come. We'll start pulling away. We've used a little bit of our ammunition here, but we're we're pretty we're pretty solid at the moment. Summoners of Rage are down incredibly far as far as health. We're gonna chuck some more nonsense at him and then launch out the hounds in the middle of this group here. Orion's incredibly quick. Bring the Glade Captain up, start getting some shots in on that Chaos Giant there. Interesting battle cry. I won't judge you for it, but I, I might. I might a little bit. What are you guys doing? I mean, fear of Orion is, uh, is natural, but you just kind of look foolish. Lady of Lauren, go ahead and start firing on the Summoners of Rage, since it looks like the Giant's going to keep trying to hide. They will carry... Blanket of arrows. Warriors, warriors, warriors. We're going to be finding some guys that aren't so heavily armored. Fergan Hunters. Those guys are a little less heavily armored than Chaos Warriors. Alright, we're starting to get some uh, some spells now. Let's go on ahead and pull on away. Now they start advancing. Start ripping some shots on these Chaos Furies here. Cavalry pull on down the line. You guys pull back as well. If you guys, if you uh, Furies want to charge the wrong unit, I'm happy to let you do it. I'm not sure why Orion's taking damage, though. It just seems like he's taking damage for being alive, which is interesting. There we go. There's, there's an actual spell going down. That that would make more sense. Let's charge it and break them. These three units here, do you just go ahead and start pulling back behind our lines? Alright, time to escape. Ryan's taking a lot. It must be damage from uh, just being around the Nurgle forces. We're going to deal with these Furies. Ryan, you go ahead and flee. Prey of Alathrema can go down on any of these sorcerers that are trying to pull on in. We are definitely going to lose a lot of our cavalry, but we have, we kind of have no choice. I wasn't expecting the amount of just kind of basic damage that was coming down on Orion there. 
How are you not fleeing? Run! Please be tireless in helping your lads there. Keep running behind the lines. Go, go, go. Oh, it's because we uh, we gave them the different orders so they walked instead of ran. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, it looks as though our, our knights are likely not going to uh, to survive. Let's try to get them behind the lines. We can get them there. Ryan, turn and start getting prepared to help out. Flee. Take them off skirmish mode so they can. I'm not sure why these guys aren't running away. I told them to. They just keep getting caught up on other units or something. We're going to lose several just for that. Keep retreating. Let's advance the front line forward a bit here. Have the, the trees come on out. we got to get some of these units away. It looks like we're going to lose several of them. Come on, Wild Riders. Come on, Beyond. Furies are in here fighting against Orion directly. Hit our line. All of our lords and such are away from danger. Love to see it. Our knights, though, have been taking some taking some serious damage on their way their way out back. Okay, they've hit our front line. Now all there is to do is defend. Front line's taking some serious damage already. Let's go ahead and have uh, Orion. Ranging out these spawn of Nurgle there. Oh, they somehow got all the way around. That I wasn't expecting at all. They are just overwhelming our line. Hey, they just went completely around. Go ahead and send the Glade Guard to help out with the Kurgan Hunters here. They're going straight through the line like it doesn't exist. Look at these Kurgan. For all the damage we did early on, it just it does, proves to be not worth it. Trying to think where we can kind of focus fire. They've got full health over there. Anyone, anyone by Festus is going to take no damage. Uh, we've got to try to focus down some of these units here. So everyone focus down these warriors of Nurgle there. You try to pull one away. Let's bring the knights back in. We cannot lose Orion to this group of Festus. That would be just the worst. Charge went in and try to defend him there. That is a, just an overwhelming board. And they're almost full health. Okay, and Orion's going to get dogpiled now. Well, let's go ahead and pull on back. Looks like advancing into uh, Festus' territory was a big old mistake. Our forces didn't hold up nearly as well as I expected them to, as elite as they were. We got run over. We've learned a very important lesson. That's just silly. That's the lesson we learned. Yeah, no, they're just they're getting overrun. We need to try to get everyone to pull back. Withdraw while you still can. Withdraw. Retreat while you still can. We might have a chance uh, on the uh, the secondary attack there, or if we've done enough damage to one of these armies, they shouldn't they shouldn't continue to fight. But man, Festus's heels are just. Overwhelming. Orion. Orion might not make it out either. Yeah, now we're going to lose Orion. How awful. One more spell cast goes down. We'll drop in some more shields. And since we can't let him flee, I guess he's unbreakable. I told you to withdraw, dude. What's going on with you? Just run. Burning and fighting is not the way at this point. Now you're definitely going to be taken out. Extra speed. Run, dude. Orion. Okay, well, we, we may have a chance to escape here, but... Yeah, now as I said, we have learned that Festus' heals are just sheer overwhelming. Not much you can do about it. Alright, 
Let's see how many we have made it. Oh man, we lost all three of our wild riders. These guys managed to flee. Don't even play. I am actually very surprised at how just how poorly our front line managed to perform against theirs. I mean, they were no, they did they did very well. They slayed through our front line there. Those chaos warriors of Nurgle made our uh, turtle wardens look like fools. And we got butchered. We will have to kind of keep keep this in stock and uh, move back. See if we're able to escape. Now, of course, this one army here was able to actually catch us. Well, I mean, this is at least a better chance than uh, than nothing at all. So we'll, we'll have uh, Ryan and his two lords try to move forward and bring down Karn. And then we can see about ending the battle there because we can do so before Festus arrives. Uh, let's move on in. All right. So part two against Festus's nonsense. Let's get our lords moved on forward. We'll have the Waystalker leading the way with his uh, Hawkeye archers there. Low cavalry on the other side, Orion, and the Glade Captain on the other side there. We'll have to figure out just how fast the enemy lord is. We'll see very soon. Might as well put these guys all together. We'll have to put them as a guard mode. All right, battle begin. Look at you run. Wow. I'm impressed. The bravest of the brave. All right, we've got a minute to bring him down before Nurgle sends forth his hordes. Because once Festus arrives, that'll be the end. We just, we don't have enough damage output to uh, bring down the Leech Lord. As we saw last battle there, his forces pretty much got out of there unscathed. We'll use the speed bundle uh, to get away from them if we need to. We go about there, then we'll hold, hold firm. Bring this idiot here down. A lot of times it will let you into the battle if you manage to kill him before, but we've got 20 seconds. Come on. Keep raining those arrows down. You can't miss. We can have none of that. If we don't get him in time, that's, that's just going to be that. Come on, all. A few more hits. There he goes. Okay, no, we end the battle. That's right. Get out of here. Rogue victory. All right. And yeah, now we'll take that heroic victory. Oh, he lost units just for the... Sorry, Festus. Take that cheese. Okay, so Ruglash is going to go ahead and join... Actually, our Wildlands attacking them. Perfect. Well, we will give that one to the other result. Oh, no, we will lose troops. You're going to make me fight this one. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and watch Escura here hunt down a Ruglash. That'll begin. All right. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and just start deployment and see how this thing plays out. Be a bit of a spectator here. Yeah, the, the, the branch nips are not my favorite unit. The multicoloredness of them is a bit strange. They look like the the Pretty Patties episode from uh, SpongeBob. It's not a not a good look for for anyone's warriors. In March, these the uh, scourge of mankind. These stone trolls. And if I'm playing Radius, I know exactly what the beeline for is the orcs. First set of arrow volley was really ineffective. Why are you sitting these hawk riders up front to be uh, shot at by the... Oh, are they going into melee? Now they're just sitting there to get shot at. Old strategy. The AI plays like a doofus when they're not uh, against you. Look at this. Argwylan doing just the goofiest... Uh, Strategies ever here. He's blasting, continuing to blast the oh, good damage on the Orc war boss, though. Go ahead and charge them into melee. 
Why just stand in there and trade? Reinforcements will be there shortly. Okay, Treekin versus Stone Trolls. Looks like the trees are doing very well for themselves. I can be actually able to knock the, the trolls off their feet. Alright, enemy lord is gone. Despite the friendly AI's best efforts here. Man, they just like they play like I mean I wish they played like this when I was fighting against them. We would win so many more battles. Great hawk there holding the fort. They just broken two farmer boys. And that armor sundered by the green hawk. Those trolls are gone. Looks like the counter to them is any other monstrous infantry, because geez. We can put them in their place. And there's the win. We didn't have to get involved. And we march. The very end. We could use this moment to kind of help hunt down some of these remaining stragglers, and I think we will do so. I will catch you all in a moment. Alright, we'll take that win. The trolls themselves still, still managed to get out of there without really taking a scratch. Uh, that's how that tends to be how it works. Uh, we will also go ahead and abduct these guys for a bit more replenishment. Alright, destruction and distraction. It was all too easy to deviate the attentions of the simple-minded greenskins away from Atholoran. As you went to war against one mob, word quickly spread from warlord to warlord that the Fey were venturing out of the forest in search of orc and goblin blood. As is their instinct, they turned their attentions to finding you, though the stupid brutes would obviously never get very far in that respect. Lord Findle of Widrioth is pleased with your actions and sends word that he is open to forming a, a confederation with you. Alternatively, you could leave him in charge of his glade while he and he will channel its energies to you. Install him as a grove tender and get some forest health in Athel Lorin, and get some diplomatic relations with Redrioth, or we confederate them. You want to be careful with confederating too many of our uh, fellow Wood Elves too quickly, because we take a lot of nasty penalties for doing so to public relations with the other factions. For some reason, they don't like it when you take over the other seats of power and grow your own. I don't know why. It would be cool if Orion got less penalties since he is the actual king of Atholoran, but as so it shall be. We will confederate up with them and we'll deal with the penalties. Yes, now we've got confederation and diplomatic relations. Minus 40 with Wood Elves, minus 8 to our control, and we shall deal with it. I've got the Weight Watcher. Diplomatic relations plus 10 with the High Elves, which is great. And then causes Terrorwood fighting against Greenskins for all units in the army, which is also Fantastic. We'll help out when fighting against uh, Grom in the future here. Oh, you, you... You aren't... You're joking. We actually get we get credit for defeating Festus. Casualty replenishment rate plus 5%, and then a drop to our Vigor loss. Alright, well, we'll take it, and we need to retreat. Uh, Orion's loss there has definitely told him that uh, it is time to upgrade the armies of Athaloran. Our warriors stood absolutely no chance against the hardened, uh, feelingless foes brought against them by uh, Nurgle here. Just overwhelmed us with armor and might. 126 armor and they avoid contact effects entirely. Vestus is a monster. I was talking all the smack, but he is, uh, he repels us pretty easily here. We really need some flame magic or at least something that can drop their overall replenishment rate. All right, Widrioth joins. Excellent. Orion, we need you to come on back into Lorelorn Forest here. I'll have you in normal stance, so you should be able to do some replenishing, or some uh, recruiting. No one can reach us unless they're in March, so that is very good. And they are busy destroying everything else anyway. Okay, Orion, we really need to give you some more soldiers. As much as I really like the Eternal Wardens, they are just not... Fantastic. We don't have a lot a lot of other choices at the moment, though. That's kind of the problem. We have the Azrai Forge in. So that means here in one more turn, we'll have access to the actual pretty decent tier 4 troops. So perhaps we hold off. Do any of the tier 4 soldiers have shields? That they do not. So we will probably need some uh, shielded troops for the front line. Branches of Gur. Drops Corruption, which is pretty great. You really need a Spell Slinger up here in the north. 
And of what, though? Shadows, beasts, or life? Life is probably going to be the call, because at first we can heal Orion and the other heroes, and then secondly we'll be able to use the Dwellers Below to rip apart infantry lines. Confidence, good. We've got another door, uh, Deliana. We can't have her name being Deliana, so post in the comments, or I'll put a pinned comment if I can remember to do so. If I can't, remind me afterwards. I'll put a pinned comment for uh, renaming all of the units, and if you have posted, speaking of renaming, so we'll recruit Deliana here real quick. She costs almost the nothing. Is um, for all of the unit, any of the units that you may have uh, submitted a name for that I may have missed. I will also have a pinned comment here on this episode, on episode 5 here, where we will put all of the name suggestions going forward. So if you have any name suggestions for any units, just go ahead and put it on this pinned comment. You'll see it when it's down there. Um, and just put, make sure you tell me which unit it is for and what the name you'd like it to be. Or if it's a hero or a lord, also put that in as well. It can be for a future hero or lord if we have one uh, that you'd like to... You've got a name you've hooked up, but... Before we end the episode, let's go ahead and see what we gain from Findle. I weave the living forest. Kind of a weak spell weaver here with a pretty decent army. Guardian Aka the, the Waystalker. Which is this put us above our, our limit? It does indeed. I don't mind that at all though. Waystalkers are great. Uh, we'll have him come on over and join up with Vil'jin very soon. Silently. I weave uh, what the is living Findle's forest. army looking like? Much weaker. So let's grab these Eternal Guard here and kick them on out. I will kick I these Dryads out as well, because they're kind these of uh, not times. fantastic. Those archers work fine for me. We'll also go ahead and, I think, remove the of trees. all of these Blade Singers. I share the forest's thoughts. Fix our income. We don't need this many armies running around, but I'm happy to retrofit Findle's army here with what she's rolling with. Both these Glade Captains and the Glade Guard. And then we'll go for a mix of war dancers and eternal wardens. Doesn't sound too bad. We can't have two of those guys. So on over. Got two spear units there. Looks fairly decent. We can just use some cavalry, and that's that's good to go. So everyone else here gets the boot. Bring them over to kind of reinforce Vildren, can't we? She has proven herself in battle. We just need to bring down massive or call, which would be kind of tough at the moment. Let's bring you back into awesome hand. We would just be trespassing on Torgobon. I'm very glad we grabbed the deals we did with Argwylan while we could. So while I'd like to push forward and keep attacking, we will go ahead and pull back. We shall great relics. Yeah, it's going to be trespassing, though. That's the problem. We'll just stay in Canel. I probably didn't need to come into this mode here so we can actually recruit up some more. We've got a lot of gold. This was a bit foolish of me. Any of these give us a more replenishment rate. Those battle loot. That's later on here with uh, Perenniality. Okay, so let's continue to work on the spell castings. We can grab a regrowth in the dwellers below. We'll go for flesh and stone. Move on through to evasion and the dwellers below. We'll just double down on that right away. The overcast version just gives you more effect on the enemy's speed there, dropping it by 25% instead of the normal Dwellers Below, which drops it... Excuse me? How's it by 20% either way? 25% either way? Maybe it'll just have a greater effect on the speed later on. Either way, this is a great, uh, great, great spell here that'll attack enemies even after they've been contacted by the little graspy vines that come on out from the ground. All right, Orion, so your skills for defeating Festus, even though we, we definitely didn't. We'll grab the Striking Branches. A rally as well, so we can grab it a little bit of extra leadership. Actually, really good. Units uh, skills down here, extra range and ammunition. We actually almost ran out of ammunition fully for our archers there, so that'd be great. More melee defense and charge bonus for all of our Glade Riders. And stand your ground eventually. I guess a nice buff of 36 to our melee defense for all our troops. Would have helped out a lot in that battle. Lord of the forest. Give a bit more health. And then we're from there. 
probably just the ward of or the ward of Hoeth for a bit more spell resistance since uh minions of chaos do pack quite a bit of uh, ma magical damage for you we'll grab more increased mobility that way we don't get caught by any nonsense and then we'll give you the fleet finger there we'll worry about uh, damage before income at the moment we business i'm a little bit unfortunate a little bit irritated i'm not able to bring viljin on over uh we will just go ahead and kick all these guys out because otherwise it'll just take too long to actually gather them up and pass them over well you know what no it won't Spellweaver of blah we will see ya Azrae. and then findle here we'll go ahead and bring on over we can kind of see what's going on with karak here we could move on up and claim gristle valley too for some extra trade resources that i'm a bit interested in for now, though, you hang out in the Crag Halls, and we will see what's going on here in the Crag Halls. They've already got an Azrai Forge themselves. Oh, uh, but yeah, we'll make sure you are the Deepwood Camp variants. We'll have, have the camp to get any of these higher tier ones. I don't think so, but if we delete this building, we won't have access to any more Blade Captains. That's eh, the way. Son of I don't building required Azrai Armory. Is that not what that is? Can I offer assistance? Well, it's an Azrite. Oh, you have to get it up to the second tier, really? Okay, I guess they are tier four units, so we'll have to wait on the others as well with Orion. So, we'll recruit up some more troops. God, King of the and we will go ahead and end the episode. So since we definitely know we won't be able to recruit in any of those others for a while here, we'll grab these Eternal Wardens. We'll grab three, four of them. Need Frontline to hold against what's coming. The Azurai War Dancers with the Spears are actual armor piercing. Let's go for them or the Anti Large. I really wish these guys had armor piercing here too. Their brothers do, and they've got two swords and they lose it. It's interesting. Now, so two spears. That armor piercing would be very useful for us. Overlord and Forest, we will go for the Watcher's Garrison. Yes. There can be no vanity. That is lovely to hear. You can go ahead and join up Blade with Grin. At your service. I think we'll get rid of just one of his spearmen here. Stalwart Glaives, we will bring you over to... We don't have several Winterheart Guard. We'll have you be the Stalwart Glaives. There we are. Go ahead and get removed. And Donos can join your force here, Ikrin. The hunt shall be tireless. Proud son of Athaloran. Right. Bindal. Lord of Athaloran. If we kick out your eternal guard here, or your eternal wardens with the dual swords that have kind of let me down a bit, Orders. we can come on in and gift you. Wildwood Rangers are pretty strong. I would love some uh, swift shiver shards. Starfire shafts would be great too for the armor piercing. Don't really need the normal glade guard. Let's go ahead and grab two of you guys. Kick the normal deepwood scouts out and put in the swift silver shards instead. I think later on here we'll take out one of these eternal wardens or even two. Replace them with cavalry. Lots of multicolored arrows about to be flying the enemy's way now. As soon as we get Orion fixed back up, we'll send him out towards this uh, this last quest battle. But forest. for now, I am going to be out of time for today. I have been at Space Wizard Total War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub phone. And I will see you all in the next one.